Hey, Dad, why do you have a purse? That's not a purse. That's my new booster pack that they just sent me. This thing is awesome. I've actually worked with this brand for many years, and they just recently came out with a new 3,400 cranking amp version. Has a built-in air compressor and everything. And that's about the end of what you're going to hear me do for an infomercial. This is freshly charged, and at the end of it, we're going to attempt to start our Van Holland build, which has a totally dead battery on a Ford V8, and see where we go from there. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm not going to bother showing you seven flat tires worth of filling, but you hit that, this comes on, you set whatever unit you want, in this case I want PSI, flip a switch. There we are. 9 PSI, we'll take it up a little bit more. There we go. Edge of 11. Let's see if we can get this one started up. Okay. Right now you can see there's nothing there. So if I unplug that, I plug that in, we get power. On the end of it is a little punch button that overrides and turns boost on. And now we can punch it. Ah, didn't make it. All right. On that note, we're going to go get one that has the manual connection. Because I'm going to bet it interchanges with their old model. Alright, round two with regular old-fashioned clamps on it. Kill switch up, kill tether on. No love. I right, choke open. Go go juice. Spin that on. Choke. And grounding clamp to the exhaust. Big 
25 horsepower Kohler out of a giant Cub Cadet that weighed like three times what this thing does. Let's see if this will start. Okay, let's give it a choke. Try it again with some gas. get it away from there we go I'm sure diesel eater is the one that everybody's curious about this thing really should not have any issue whatsoever turning this over but we'll see whoa that mud is slippery alright Pressure release, clutch release, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. I think I'm an idiot and I forgot the uh, kill tether secondary. Let's see if it'll start now. I'm sure everybody's going to ask why I didn't launch this machine like I did all the others in the video. The reason being is because this is the one most dangerous machine that I own to do without wheelie bars. 
In second gear, this machine will literally put the front tires as high as your head in the front. Without wheelie bars, I'm not launching it. You'll have to look over on the old videos on RCG Racing. Luana, you're not a chicken. Chicka jacks, chick 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 jacks. All right, well it's day two, and at this point I might need to cut my grass. This is on the short side compared to the rest of the lawn right now. So I think we should focus on the grass cutter from last year. At this point, the booster pack is at about 50%. Most of that is due to my own stupidity of not remembering that I had a positive solenoid kill on the diesel. But we're going to try and continue here. So these have the battery up front in a really awkward to get to location. But this booster pack is great for this kind of lawn tractor stuff because it will literally fit right where the lawn tractor battery goes. So we'll clip this on and we'll see if we can get this to fire. Wet seat and all. I don't want to sit on the wet seat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why we got nothing? Honey, did you break it? No. Did Winter break it? Uh, Winter might have broken it. Okay, well, we'll put the brake on and we'll see if we can hot wire it. without having a battery actually in the unit, but we know it runs, it drives, we got to test the booster. Now let's start on the girlfriend's rig. So, this is the rig that my girlfriend calls Bouncy, and it had carburetor issues before we put it away for the winter. So let's see if it'll actually even do anything. I get asked often why there's no clutch on Mud Wizard. It's actually hidden right here on the side. So we're going to throw the clutch on and we'll see if it does anything. I meant to say choke for everybody commenting now that I'm an idiot. Thank you.
So we have one extremely dead placeholder battery. And this thing is done by a punch button on the inside because the ignition's not working right. Well, let's see if it'll actually kick over. The punch button's probably corroded. It worked. All right, can you come around? Well, actually, I can come over here. All right, so we have boosted, done everything in the yard that we needed to this spring. We did a dead doornail set up at the very end of it with 50% left. And having worked with this brand numerous times in the past, I would bet I could probably start this V8 at least another four or five times without any issue. If you're interested in one of these, check the link down below. I totally recommend them.